Hi, Darren. Thanks for coming all the way to Milwaukee from New York just to visit with Arts Digest. We, we really appreciate it. It's been absolutely wonderful to come back to Milwaukee where I grew up, actually New Berlin. Um, I uh, went to Brookfield Central High School and I went to UW-Madison my first two years. Uh, when I left, I, I left to go to Philadelphia to go to school at the Curtis Institute and uh, uh, then went on to New York. As they say, put the hay down where the goats can get it. <laughs> and that's where the musical hay was. Way back a uh, couple of Thanksgivings ago, Present Music and Milwaukee Choral Artists played a piece of yours called flight music. I wanted to write an opera about Amelia Earhart. So I said, why don't I set a bunch of Amelia Earhart's words to music and track her final flight. It's about two different worlds, heaven and earth. And what I did is I expanded upon that idea to write a beautiful piece of polytonality. All of those floating chords float because they're in two keys at once. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you're lost. Just as Captain Veer was lost on the infinite sea in Melville and in Billy Budd by Benjamin Britten, uh, my Amelia was lost on her infinite sea. So what happened between that piece that we heard in the cathedral and the opera that they will be seeing in Seattle this spring? At the time, the opera was going to be about Amelia Earhart, an opera about her final minutes, and another great Milwaukee named Stephen Wadsworth. Former uh, co-artistic director of the Skylight Opera Theater many Absolutely. Long years ago. He was brought in to read the treatment that I'd written, and he said, needs a stronger through story. Earhart faded from central character to ghostly presence. The story shifted toward a woman, also named Amelia, whose Navy flyer father died in the Vietnam War. I had met this wonderful poet named Gardner McFall and has spent her life writing beautiful, evocative, pensive poetry about this loss. And when I came to writing an opera about flight, I thought, who better to tap than she? Why don't we just use Gardner McFall's life? Now, many operas have letter arias where somebody reads or writes a letter, and there's a really important one in this opera. Every naval aviator writes a last letter uh, wh whenever he takes off uh, to be delivered to his family in the case of his demise. And since our, uh, our father uh, figure is a naval aviator, we, we used his. Here is Seattle Opera baritone David McFerrin singing the letter aria from Darren Hagen's Amelia at a workshop reading in 2008. Special. 